close shave. So Duck came to Edward's station. It's not fair, he complained. Basil's made the fat controller and all the other engines think I'm horrid. Edward smiled. I know you aren't, he said. And so does the fat controller. You wait and see. Duck felt happier with Edward. He helped him with his trucks and coaches, and sometimes pushed foreign engines up the hill and helped him with their trains. But Gordon, Henry and James never spoke to him at all. One day, he pushed behind a goods train and helped it to the top of the hill. Peep, peep, goodbye, he called, and rolled gently over the crossing to the other line. Duck loved coasting down the other side of the hill, running easily with the wind whistling past him. He hummed a little tune. Peep, peep, peep. That sounds like a guard whistle, he, he thought, but we haven't a guard. His driver heard it too, and looked back. Hurry, Duck, hurry, he called urgently. There's been a breakaway and some trucks are chasing us. And there they were. Twenty heavily loaded trucks. Hurrah! Hurrah! They laughed. We've broken away! We've broken away! Before the signalman could change the points, they followed Duck onto his line. Chase him! Bump him! Throw him off the rails! They yelled as they hurtled after Duck, bumping and swaying with their ever-increasing speed. The guard saved Duck, though the trucks had knocked him off his van. He got up and ran behind, blowing his wrestle to attract the driver's attention. Now on, we'll the van. As fast as we can, said the driver grimly, then they'll catch us gradually. They raced through every station, whistling furiously, but the trucks caught them with a shuddering jar. The fireman climbed back and the van's brakes came on with a scream. Braking carefully, the driver gained control. Another clear mile and we'll do it, he said. They swept round a bend. Oh glory, look at that! A passenger train was pulling out on their line in the station ahead. The driver leapt to his reverser, hard over full steam and whistle. It's up to you now, Duck, he said. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam on the, against the trucks. They felt his strength. On! On! They yelled, but Duck was holding them now. I must stop. I must. The station came nearer and nearer. The last coach was just clearing the platform. It's too late! Duck groaned. He shut his eyes. Suddenly, he felt a swerve and slid shuddering and groaning in foot along a siding. A barber had set up a shop in a wooden shed in the yard. He was shaving a customer. There was a sliding groaning crash as half the wall came in. The customer jumped nervously, but the barber held him, held him down. It's only an engine, he, he said, and went on lathering. Beg pardon, sir, gasped Buck. Excuse my intrusion. No, I won't said the barber crossly. You frightened my customers and spoiled my new paint. I'll teach you. And he lathered Duck all over his face. Poor Duck. They were pulling the trucks away when the fat controller arrived. The barber was telling the workman what he thought. I do not like engines popping through my walls, he fumed. They disturb my customers. I appreciate your feelings, said the fat controller, and will gladly repair the damage. But you must know that this engine has, and his crew has prevented a serious accident. You and many others might have been badly hurt. The fat controller paused impressively. It was a very close shave, he said. Oh, said the barber. Oh, excuse me. And he ran into the sh his shop, fetched a basin of water and washed Duck's face. I'm sorry, Duck, he said. And I didn't know that you were being a brave engine. That's all right, sir, said Duck. I didn't know either. You are very brave indeed, said the fat controller. I'm proud of you, and I shall tell the workman to give you a new coat of paint. <laughs> oh, sir, Duck felt happier than he had ever been for weeks. And now, said the fat controller, when you are mended, you are coming home. Whom, sir? Do you mean the yard? Of course. But, sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel. Not now, said the fat controller. I never believed Diesel. After you went, he told lies about Henry, so I sent him packing. The engine is very sorry, I want you back. So a few weeks later, he came home shining with a new coat of paint. There really was a rousing welcome for Duck the Great Western Engine. <laughs>